got a big haul today. Good morning, guys. We're starting the vlog out today with a very, very big food haul. I think as you guys saw in the past like vlogs, I wasn't buying a lot of stuff because I still had stuff in the fridge and I guess I just ran out of everything at the same time. So today was like, we need to get things. <laughs> Okay, so let's start. First things first, I picked up this magazine from Tesco just because I like to like look through like what they have and what ideas they, 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 they promote. So I picked up these broccolis. So the local grocers were having a sale for like two broccolis for the price of 59p. So I was like, why not? So this will be like my vegetables for the next few meals. I got some falafels and in the other vlog where I talked about like the Moroccan falafels, they just don't have that co as common as this Middle Eastern one. So like... I always just get this one and I'm gonna be having this for lunch today. We got some of these strawberry crisp granolas. I really really love this and I like eating this with yogurt a lot. Some bay leaves because I'm one of these days I'm gonna make a uh, pad krapao for uh, dinner. So basically the Thai basil beef stir fry dish. Usually you would use holy basil but that's just like impossible to find here. <laughs> so regular basil it will be. It won't be the same but you know. I picked up more eggs because I only had four left. The minced beef for the pad krapao and also I think I will like split it in half and then make tacos with the other like half of the mince. Last but not least from Tesco I got some uh, chicken stock because I ran out and a lot of the recipes I want to try use chicken stock just to add flavor to the sauce so needed to top up on chicken stock. And then uh, I went to Marks and Spencers because there are things that I like to get there as well. One of them being my favorite cereal ever. Like this is the best cereal, this apple and cinnamon flakes. I will not stop recommending this. Please go and get this. It's like the bomb. And I don't know if any other supermarket does this. I only know M&S does, which is like half a cucumber because I find the whole cucumber very intimidating to try and finish and, and eat. So I usually like to get the half cucumber kind of portion thing uh, for like my meals. I got some milk as well. I have switched to semi-schemed milk. I used to be drinking whole milk and then I was like, why not I just drink semi-skimmed milk? And usually you always see that I get like the one pint, uh, so the smaller version, but I didn't realize how much liquid the oats that I bought <laughs> requires, like 280 uh, milliliters of milk and that's basically almost about half of your one small pint. And then I'm like, what am I gonna do like for cereal and stuff? So. I bought this. We'll see if I can finish this. Uh, if I can't finish like a whole, like two pints of milk, then I will just buy the regular small pint because I don't want to waste since milk goes fast really bad. I mean, wait, because the milk goes bad really fast. <laughs> the last thing on this list, I just got some uh, chicken thighs. Now I could have gotten this from Tesco, but the price difference is no difference. They are both the same price. And since I am walking back upwards, you know, back to my dorm and m and is on the way, I'd rather just stop there to get this instead of like carrying <laughs> the chicken thighs with me from Tesco since I had to get other things as well from m and And I also plan to use this in a one pot Hainanese chicken rice dish. So I haven't had that kind of like style of food in a very long time. I'm gonna see if I can try and make it, see if it works, if it does not work. But yeah, so that's what I'll be doing with the chicken thighs this week. Last thing that I got is uh, more paper towels. And I heard this is a very, very good brand. Like, I was looking up online on like just forums about the UK and what people buy. And they said Regina Blitz paper towels are the best because they're so absorbent. And I go through the regular ones like pretty quickly. They just don't hold water at all for me so I thought I will try this. <laughs> Just pose for a thumbnail. I don't even know if this will be the thumbnail for this video but <laughs> I feel like you know you've you've adulted when going grocery shopping buying things like this just makes you incredibly happy. 
<laughs> but anyways, um, so that's for this week's food haul and what I got. Right now, it's about 10.45. Um, so I'm going to try and bang out an more words for my ethics essay. I'm at 3,300 words or so, so I'm pretty close to the word limit, which is a, which is 4,300. Uh, I'm gonna try and bang out more words, and then after this, we will have lunch, and then it will be stream. This time, I'm doing art on stream instead, and... Yeah, I think that's the plan for today. Oh, and then I have a lecture later. Uh, not a lecture. I have a briefing later for a volunteer program that I am si I have signed up for. I feel like Monday is so busy, <laughs> but it's okay. It's a start. Sometimes it's good to be busy, but um, let's get on with our day. <laughs> We're heading to the library today. This is the fit. Um, wearing this is my first time wearing this, so I'm just like trying to play around and see how do I style like a tweed jacket. And then we're just going for a very simple all black look inside <laughs> to enhance the tweed jacket. But I don't know if it's too cold to just wear the tweed on its own, so I have a an extra coat. We shall see if I die of heat or you know, this is like perfectly warm. But yeah, so we're gonna go to the library today of feeling a little bit dressed up just to get motivated to do work and let's go! Wednesday and it's freezing. It's currently zero degrees right now outside. But yes, I did my workout today. So I washed my hair. If you're wondering why is your hair wet? <laughs> and I totally forgot before I ate it. My dorm was giving out free breakfast. So I grabbed like a banana because I ran out of bananas. And I also grabbed a croissant. Oats. I'm not gonna eat the oats now. But I forgot to show you guys like what it was before I ate it. So my bad everybody. But I'm gonna eat like my yogurt right now. So this is not from the free breakfast. This is my own yogurt. So at least I can show you guys. It's the vanilla flavor this time around. If you guys know for the past few vlogs, I've been trying versions of this yogurt because it's so good. It's I like it. It's it's nice. So this is what we're eating for breakfast today. And then we have class later on. Back to back classes today of dissertation, seminar, and science. So uh, that's what's planned for today on this really cold day. <laughs> Heading to class. This also feels like kind of a silly question. No, but there, there are no questions this city. I have uh, two parcels to get. Good morning, guys. The cast iron pan came that I got from an anonymous gifter on my stream from my throne wish list. Thank you so much. I will not, I guess I will show it in the next week's vlog because I want to be able to unbox it live on stream as well for the anonymous uh, gifter just to say thank you again and just for them to see that I received the gift because they may not watch the vlog but it's here! On the other hand, we can open this um, parcel instead which is really big. I think I know what it is. It is definitely my book <laughs> but I mean, I didn't think Look at my compare the size. Like, look, why is it so big? <laughs> Let's open it. <laughs> also, if I sound stuffy or cold, I really hope I'm not sick because I've not been. I wasn't feeling well yesterday-ish or so, but I don't know if it's just because I just didn't dress warmly enough. I really hope I'm not sick. I can't afford to be sick. <laughs> so many things to do. <gasps> it's a huge book. Wait, look. Hold on. I didn't think it was this big when I was winning the book. It's the size. <laughs> It's the size of my torso! 
This is another book that I won on the Reader's First. As you guys saw, I am a very avid book reader on that website and I like to win books. But I thought I'd win this other book because it's about cooking. And I mean, first things like, look at the art. Look at how pretty it is. Like, I, wanna, I want my art to look like this. I think it's one of the best books I've ever won. <laughs> Um, but yes, so a little unboxing for today and this morning. The pen, we will unbox it live on stream next week, next Monday. Um, little self promo, this is my stream. If you guys like to watch me, I play video games and do art on stream. So yes, if you like those two things. We're gonna head into the workshop today so we don't have class, but you know it's workshop week, meaning I am free to work on my own things. We're gonna work on the tear repair again. I hope it's not repetitive for you guys, but unfortunately, this is what it is when you do art conservation. You can't complete treatments in one day. It takes several days, several hours, and because I don't have access to the studios every day, I have to like plan out and bleh. <laughs> So we're working on tears. So we're gonna do the strip lining more of it because I'm not done yet. I think that's like my main goals for today. Today I'm making this contraption where instead of ironing the strip lining flat, I'll iron it against that board and that's how it looks like. But then I go back to doing like tear repairs again. So basically you guys are gonna see me flip flop back and forth between tear repairs, which is what I'm doing right now. And then going back to strip lining, which is what I'm doing over here. <laughs> so that's how it works. It's basically you're trying to preserve the tacking margin. And yes, snow. <laughs> I got distracted by snow. But we're back again to tear repairs. A lot of back and forth. guys it's another day in the workshop today however i am not feeling a hundred percent i don't know if i sound sick or not you know i feel like maybe i'm a bit stuffed my body feels a bit achy so we're going in today we may not stay for long i probably maybe will just do a few hours in the workshop work on my tears and anything i can do and then maybe we'll just come home rest chill relax uh for the rest of the day and then maybe i don't know maybe i'll pick up some soup or something for tomorrow's meals or maybe for tonight i wanted to make the pat krapao that i talked about earlier in the vlog which i did not make <laughs> i have not made it yet so uh we shall see what dinner will hold i will either make it today or make it for tomorrow and then eat that tomorrow maybe eat soup i don't know yet because sometimes bread and soup just sounds so good Now I'm sanding down the surface of this canvas to create a nap bond and then folding the pretend tacking margins of the sample so I can do a loose lining and try out different variations of how do you stretch and adhere a painting back to the cat a stretcher I mean and this is just one example which is using copper tacks and hammering it into the painting. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna be having my dinner now um, and just relax for the rest of the night and hopefully I feel better over the weekend and my cool will be gone. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week whenever you are watching this or your days or your mornings or your nights. Um, and yeah, thank you so much uh, and have a good one everyone. Bye bye! Thank you.